Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement for today. A ray of hope coming to you from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And there's just not a better place to find a ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Today, friends, if you will, take your Bibles and turn with me to Hebrews chapter 11. And let's look at verse number 31. Now notice what the Bible says here. By faith the harlot Rahab published not with them that believeth not, when she had received the spies with peace. And friends, I certainly pray that God would add his great blessings to the reading of his word on this beautiful day. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together and have a wonderful encounter with God and his precious word on this beautiful Lord's Day. Well, amen. Friend, there's just not a better way to start a brand new day. Good fresh hot coffee and a fresh word from God. Today, my friend, I want to bring to you a devotional thought titled, The Gift of Forgiveness. You know, my friends, sometimes Christians wonder if they have committed a sin that God cannot forgive, or they wonder if they've committed the unforgivable sin that's mentioned in Matthew chapter 12, verse 31 and verse 32. As for the latter, possibly Jesus was speaking to Pharisees who willfully rejected Christ's divine credentials as the Son of God. Beloved, no Christian is in danger of committing that sin. As for committing a terrible sin that God cannot forgive, the Bible is clear. All have sinned, Romans 3, 23. And all may receive eternal life, John 3, 16. My friend, because we live in societies that are required to exact punishment for crimes, it is difficult to comprehend the idea that if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. First John 1 John 1.9 But listen, friend, he is. He'll cleanse all of it. A pagan prostitute named Rahab found that out personally. She threw herself on the mercy of the Israelites' God when people entered Canaan, and she was forgiven her past and rewarded for her faithfulness. You can read that in Joshua chapter 2. My friend, listen, God withholds forgiveness from no one who needs and seeks forgiveness. Now today, if that applies to you, confess your sins and be forgiven. Think about this, and now let's pray together. Heavenly Father, How grateful we are for the scripture in 1 John chapter 1 verse 9 
that tells us all if we will confess our sins that you are faithful and just to forgive our sins and cleanse us from all, all unrighteousness. What a great promise that scripture gives to us. And may we all accept that in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Well, friends, I do pray the devotion blessed you today as we learned about the gift of forgiveness. And if it did, you bless someone else by sharing it with them, remembering that your life is the Bible that some will read today. So let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in. God bless you, and you have a wonderful day today.